Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to add legends to Sync Fusion React charts. I will also explain how to align the legend, customize the legend and its icon sizes, select a series on clicking the legend and enable animation. Let's start with the coding part. I will open my existing application, which already has the Sync Fusion React charts package installed. On the app.tsx page, I have included the basic chart rendering code. If you want to learn how to create a basic React chart, please refer to my getting started video link in the card above or in the description below. You can visualize Olympic Metal Counts Rio in a column series with this chart code. Let me run the application to show the chart. Look at the chart. The data is plotted as a column series. First, we will see how to add a legend to the chart. To do this, import the module legend from the Sync Fusion React Charts package and inject it into the chart services. I have already included the series names so they can be visible in the legend. Check the output. Legends are shown at the bottom of the chart, which provides information about the rendered data points. You can also customize the legend by including the legend settings property. Let's see how to adjust the legend position in the chart. You have options like auto, top, left, right, bottom, and custom. The default position is auto, which places the legend based on the chart area type. Here I specify the legend position as a top. Now, the legend is shown at the top of the chart. By default, the legend is aligned to the center of the chart. I can change its alignment by including the alignment option in the legend settings. I'll set its value to far. Look at the chart. The legend is aligned with the right side. Notice here, the legend icon is rendered based on the chart series. You can also change the icon shape by using the legend shape option in the series directive. These are the available shapes. I will use the diamond shape for the gold medal series. I will also change the default height and width of the legend shape from 10 pixels to 12 pixels by including the shape height and shape width properties. As we can see, the gold series legend shape is changed to diamond and the custom height and width have been applied to the legend shape. You can also change the default height and width of the legend if you have too many legends by using height and width options in the legend settings. Next, I will show you how to select a series by clicking its legend. By default, clicking the legend will collapse its corresponding series. So to prevent it, I will include the toggle visibility option in the legend settings and set its value to false. Now, the series is not collapsed after clicking its legend name. To perform series selection, I import the selection module from the Sync Fusion React Charts package and inject it into the chart services. Then I include the selection mode option in the chart component tag and set its value as series. Look at the chart. When I click the legend name, its corresponding series is selected. Finally, I will show you how to enable or disable animation while clicking the legend. By default, the animation is enabled in the chart. To disable it, I simply add the enable animation option in the chart component tag and set its value to false. Also, I enable the toggle visibility option in the legend settings. Now, when I click the legend name, the animation is disabled while collapsing the series. You can skip including a series legend by setting an empty string to its name option. In this sample, I will set an empty string to the bronze series. Notice here, the legend name for bronze is skipped in the chart. Let me quickly summarize what we have seen in this video. I showed you how to add legends to the Sync Fusion React charts. Also, we saw how to align the legend, customize the legend and its icon size, select series on clicking the legend, and enable animation. You can download a working example from the GitHub link in the description for this video below. I've also included a link where you can see if you're eligible for our community license, which will provide you a free license key to use our products. Thank you for watching this video.
If you found it useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel.